Hey y'all, welcome back. If you're just coming from the Nimbus Light review, um, I'm jumping right into the Gel Nimbus 24 review. Um, so, like I was saying, the Nimbus Light are like 7.8 ounces. They're indeed lighter than the classic Nimbus model, but these new Gel Nimbus 24s are like a revamped version of the Nimbus model, and I'm really excited about it because Nimbus has always been my go-to marathon training shoe. Like, it's just, I never have had any issues with it. It's like one of those things where if it's not broke, don't fix it. And so I always stuck with the Nimbus when I was in marathon training. I just love them. Um, so the one thing I didn't like about older Nimbus models, what they were a little chunky. So when Asics came out with the Nova Blast, I tended to grab my Nova Blast more because they were lighter on my feet. When you get to that heavy, high mileage at like 17, 18, 19 miles, chunky shoes feel like you're running with bricks on your feet and it's hard. So um, I was really excited when they came out with this whole new Nimbus look, feel, everything. So the new Nimbus 24s, they are, a, the, oh, this is, <laughs> this is the color they sent me. So I do get these Asics. Uh, sent to me. I don't pay for them, which has been a really huge blessing. Um, just a caveat, I guess. Um, so anyway, this color, I think it's French blue. Um, it's really pretty. I really like them. So the Nimbus 24 is lighter than the 23s in previous models. So these are the 24s. They're 8.7 ounces. The older 23s and so on were like 9, 9.2 ounces. So slightly lighter material, materials lighter and more breathable. So that's really nice. So they have these knit tongues. So the shoe tongues are this stretchy, knit, breathable material. Like you can see my finger through there. They're really, really light which is really nice, especially long distance. You're just sweating everywhere. You need the breathability, hot summers, whatever you're doing, whatever you get, are buying running shoes for. It could be for walking. It could be for not long distance running or ever running a race, that's fine. But just the breathability is nice. Um, and same with not only the tongue, but just the mesh upper is really nice and light. I love, I love what they've done with these shoes. Um, so the cushion is this FF Blast Plus. You can see it written on there. Um, so this sole is lighter and softer. So it is lighter than the older Nimbus. It's got the same, um, you know, thickness, I guess. It is a little less, but it's a little less chunky than the older Nimbus, if that makes sense. So. You still have that really great cushion. It is considered maxed out cushion, neutral shoe, but it is, it's lighter though, which I, I don't know how they do it. I'm glad um, they can figure that out, not me, but it's fantastic. So um, it's true to size. Um, you don't have to size up extra. Um, like some of the other models I've talked about, you do have to size up like half a size extra, um, which is okay, but um, definitely something that I would have wanted to know um, if I were buying my shoes and not get it, so I didn't get the wrong size. Um, so I do size up, like I size up a half a size in all my running shoes from my normal shoes. So if my normal shoes are eight, my running shoes are eight and a half, that um, allows room for your feet to swell when you're running so your toes don't hit up against the front that's how you lose toenails get blisters it's not fun it's not comfortable so size up a half a size at least um what else tread nimbus has always been i feel like really great tread um nice i, I don't want to say chunky because they're not chunky but they're enough to grip really well, um, never have any problems slipping. They hold up really well, very durable. Um, they're priced at 160 as well, just like the Nimbus Lite, 
160 is a very average running shoe price, I feel like. Um, if you are going for quality, Nimbus, <clears throat> Nimbus 24 are super, super high quality. Um, you can't go wrong with Nimbus. It's just like a classic Asics that has been around for forever and they just kind of revamped it to give it a little facelift, make it a little bit better, sustainable. Um, I honestly just love everything that they've done with these. So I think that's it. Marathon training approved, absolutely. High, high mileage. These can hold up. Um, like I said, I have run many marathons in Nimbuses, many long runs, training runs, training cycles in Nimbus and the 24s are the same in terms of durability, comfort for those long distances. Um, I tend to do reach for these more than I did my other Nimbuses when it comes to just everyday wear, shorter distances, going to the gym, things like that, just because they are a little lighter, they're less chunky, I love the colors, so I do um, tend to wear them more than my previous Nimbus models. So, I think that's it. Try to make it short and sweet, get to the point. Um, if you have any more questions about the Gel Nimbus 24s, drop them in the comments here. As always, I will link uh, the men's and women's in the comments so it just makes it easier for you to find them. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, drop comments questions, concerns, you can follow me on Instagram at tori.caves. Subscribers, thank you for being here and just for supporting this little dinky old run and shoe page. So thanks, I'll see y'all next time.